there is some easy customization built right into the engine. Uh, by the way, if you do not have the modeling tools, uh, it is plugin modeling, and we are using the modeling tools editor mode. Okay, so the first step to customize the modeling tools is to go to editor preferences and then scroll down to the plugins section and find modeling mode. From here, you're going to have UI customization, and that's what we're going to be getting into. Where I want to get started is the tool favorites. Okay, so here we're going to use the name listed on the tool down here. So if we want this cube grid tool, we're going to look at the name listed in the UI here. Uh, to see any updates, uh, right now you have to get out of modeling mode and then back into modeling mode. As you can see, we now have a favorites bar up here. If your tool favorites is empty, you're not going to see that. Okay. And now we're going to look at section colors. Now, what is a section color? What a section color is going to be this here. So the gray, the lighter gray outline that is a, each one of these is a section. So let's see here. We don't name tool names, but rather the section name. So this top one here is called shapes. So that's what we're going to use. We've got to go shapes. Let's say this one bright red. And once again, oh, I guess it's yellow. Once again, let's exit it. And I'll also speed up the video and fill out the rest while we're at it and then come back. All right. So I've now filled them all out with just random colors. Uh, one thing that I did want to point out, um, because we're just setting the actual header here, um, or the section color, as it likes to call it, um, and not the font, uh, like the text color. Um, a lot of colors, you'll have to be very careful about readability. Like down here is very readable volumes, but this is the same color as the text, so it ends up disappearing. Now, that's a personal choice. You might like that. I picked out some bright colors that kind of do make it hard. So, like, the darker the color, the more it will work. Okay. And now I'm going to go over tool colors. You can see by highlighting it, there's two options. So you can do just the section name. And this is this is a little interesting because it works differently than tool favorites. Tool favorites, you had to just name the tool itself. With tool colors, you need to do you can do either the section name which will color all of these icons the same as the section name. I'll show you an example now. As you can see, this is me setting the entire create section to this color. Now, say I don't want to set the entire section, which we can do both. We could set the entire section. But say I want to set a individual tool. What we can do is come in here. We need the section name. So I'm going to set cube grid to, let's say, green. We need to type in the section name. And just like the section name colors, that needs to be exact. After the section name, we're going to hit period. And then type in the tool the same way it is displayed. So cube grid is cube. And then uppercase G, R. And that's it. We can now set it to green. And you'll see this individual one is now green. One thing you'll notice, because we did section, the favorites one did not update the same way. If we wanted the favorites to update, we would do the same thing. Favorites dot cube grid. Uh, this allows you to have really great customization where every little piece is exactly what you want. Say you want this to be rainbow, whatever. Say you want to just highlight the tools you use the most but don't use favorites, you can do that, right? Uh, it just takes a minute. Now, lastly, uh, I'm going to cover the first thing on this list, which is tool section order. So here, we can reorder where things appear on the list. Oh, it's a little hard to read some of these right now. <laughs> I, should, I should probably edit those colors, right? All right, so let's say deform should be first. That's this green one here. And then let's say transform is one I use a lot. It has the pivot tool. It has the reset rotation tool. So let's have it in that order. 
And now you'll see it's just that easy. It's just like the section color. We just need the section name. Once we have it all filled out, if you notice, this left side has a little drag icon, and that's because it's an array. And it works just like all the other arrays in the engine, which means that once this is all filled out, say that we come back in here and we're like, okay, we don't want create be listed third, right? We can just drag it. It doesn't want to drag right now. <laughs> we can just drag it and reorder it anytime uh, based on our preference, based on our need. It's honestly, it's really nice. Obviously, I probably wouldn't pick these colors, to be honest, but this is a great usability tool, especially with all the other customization we now have to the appearance of the of the editor. Lastly, I would say the one thing that I think would improve this is if we could get a exclude uh, section or exclude tools area. Like if I don't use sculpting, I don't need sculpting listed. But I think that would be a nice feature since they've already added this customization. Anyways, that is all I really wanted to cover. I hope that more features kind of get this. It'd be nice to see this type of customization come to more tools. I'm not sure how exactly in other tools. The more customization, the better. Uh, I hope this helps. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, I'll be making some more videos like this. Enjoy.